Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we got our final two, and I do mean two team members of the game, bringing us to a team of six. We got Red Bull the Tauros and Nikki the Smoochum, and we also made it here to Olivine City. In this episode, we're going to be exploring this city and see what we can get from it, because there are some pretty cool things to get here. First things first, let's go in here, and I believe we talked to this guy actually. Ha, huh, your Pokemon looks sure look like lightweights. They don't have the power to move boulders aside. Here, use this to teach them strength. And we get HMO4 strength, which allows us to move blocks. Pretty cool stuff. Honestly, the only thing you can count on is your own good self. I'm so proud of my buff bod. Alright. And strength as a move is pretty good for normal type Pokemon. It's, I believe, an 80 base power normal type move. And I think, <laughs> as redundant as this is going to be, I'm going to teach it to Red Bull because... He will be able to move boulders aside for us in the adventure, which is cool, and I can take out Tail Whip for that because that's not a good move. Even though we have three normal type moves, Red Bull will be doing a ton of damage with those moves, so it's really not a bad idea to teach it to him. Whenever I rolled into this town, I always visit the Olivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Well, that's how I feel when I go into Minecraft, right? You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Battle Tower ahead, opening now. Yeah, we do have the Battle Tower here, and we could go that way to explore there, but I will do that later on because there are other things to explore here. Like this, Olivine Port, Fast Ship Pier. I don't believe we could do anything about this quite yet, but I might as well show this off because why not? This will be important for much later in the game, but I figured why not get into it now? What do you have to say? We don't want you to fall into the sea, so you're not allowed in. Well, that's kind of dumb. Shelter are easy to catch here. They're kind of rare elsewhere. Alright, apparently you can get Sheldy here, which is cool. How many rods do you have? Different rods can catch different Pokemon. Yeah, I think we only have the old rod at this point. Uh, I think you actually get one here, if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me on that. I don't exactly remember. Uh, what do you have to say? The sea is sweet. Sunsets on the sea are marvelous. Sing with me. Yo-ho, blow the man down! I don't know what that means. What is inside this house? Oh, it's a fisher guy! Olivine is on the sea! And if it's on the sea, there are bound to be fish. i fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and fish? Yes, I would. And we get ourselves a new angler. And we get the good rod, which means we can catch new Pokemon that are better than the old rod. So I was correct. Fish aren't around in the sea alone. They go wherever else there is water. That's pretty important information for later on, to be sure. Here's the gym. We can go inside, but as you see, I believe this guy is going to tell us that we don't have to. Jasmine, the gym leader, is at the lighthouse. She's been tending to a sick Pokemon. A strong trainer has to be compassionate. Yeah, the gym leader is not here right now, but she, the, he did say that the gym leader was in the lighthouse. I think we should go on and go in there, because that's a pretty important area. But before we do that, there are some houses up here. Let's talk to you. Hi, I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have Krabby, would you trade it for my Voltorb? Yeah. I mean, they are both not very good Pokemon. Voltorb is just fast, and Krabby is not really that good, so... Whenever I get in trouble, Daddy always scares me. Well, don't get in trouble then. Along the way into Cyanwood, there are four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken to the islands as punishment. So it's like the Bermuda Triangle with no one returns. That's pretty crazy. And though I can use the bike to explore faster, walking just seems more fitting for this area. Dark roads are dangerous at night. But in the pitch black of night, the sea is even more treacherous. Without the beacon of the lighthouse to guide it, no ship can sail. Yeah, that is pretty not good. So, here we have the Olivine Lighthouse, also known as the Glitter Lighthouse. Pretty cool area. There are some trainers that we're going to be finding in here, spoilers. So I figured, since we are trying to train Nikki, might as well give her the experience. And I also, before the comments start rolling in from last episode, I did mess up last time. Uh, Elekid, Smoochum, and Magmi evolve at level 30. People train at this lighthouse. It's not easy to climb because of all the trainers. Yeah, they evolve at level 30, not level 20. So that might push you off from leveling them up. But personally, that's not too bad for me. Smoochum is still going to be a valuable asset when it evolves, so I'm not too upset. Hm? This is no place for playing. Why not? I like playing. I mean, we're playing a game right now. We're playing Pokemon, guys. I mean, come on now. You have one Pokemon. And it's a Noctowl. What level are you? Level 20. Oof. Yeah, that's something Nikki cannot fight against. But once she is able to fight for herself... Then she will be decent. And you know what? Let's go for Betro. Because Betro, like I mentioned in the last episode, could use some experience. And he is almost level 22, so that makes it even better on him. And the fact that our 
Patro or, or most of our team is the same level as this Noctowl is really not good. That just goes to show we're pretty underleveled for this area coming up, and that's a little scary to me in my personal opinion. I mean, Peck here does a quite a bit of damage, so I'm hoping that we can live. And that did nothing. Holy macaronis. How much does Swift do? Not much better. Hit yourself. Oh my goodness, this is not okay at all. Wow, okay. Well, we don't ha really have anything to deal with this. So you know what? We're going for the Red Bull right now. And like I said before, I did level him up off screen. So he will be able to do a ton of damage. So let's go for strength. Let me show off what that looks like. It's a pretty cool animation. And it does do quite a bit of damage. See, look at that. That is so powerful. It's only because Zubat doesn't have a huge attack stat like uh, Red Bull does. So he is just going to be a very nice asset to our team for sure. And Nikki's now level 12. Good. And Red Bull gained some levels. And Betro, not so much. Ah, uh, I can't see that you're serious. Yeah, we are pretty serious. Now, I need to wake up uh, Patrol from his nap. I did get the uh, Mint Berry, which... Oh, we also have Awakenings, too. So let me go ahead and use one of those to wake him up. He's almost level 22, and that's a level I want him to be at for reasons we will probably see in this episode. So let's continue climbing up the lighthouse. Men of the Sea are always spoiling for a good fight. Yeah, they're pretty good stuff. Sailors are cool. I've never actually been out at sea except for some cruises for vacations and stuff, but it seems like it would be fun. Oh, and we have a Poliwag. That's a nice Pokemon that Batro can gain some experience off on. So let's go and bring him in and see what he can do. Hopefully these Poliwags don't give me the Hypnosis or something. That would be really dumb. But all they have is Water Gun, so maybe we should be decent here. Eh, they, they still do quite a bit of damage, and they're faster than me. Wow! This is not good at all, guys. This is really bad. Let's go for the Swift. Yeah, we don't even get the two-hit KO on these guys, and he's going for the bubble. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not too much damage. Alright, come on. Oh, wow, we, we're, we got a speed tie. Okay, cool. And we're almost at level 22. What's your next Pokemon? A Poliwhirl. You know what? I'm going to keep Betro in and I'm going to switch out. Because Betro, I don't think, can handle the Poliwhirl. And who can handle it would be Flowey. Flowey seems like a good candidate for this fight. And it's crazy we have to... <laughs> wow, what was that? That's like a burp, but it wasn't a burp. But we have six team members now, guys. So this means that we're doing pretty good in terms of variety. We can switch into who pretty much whoever we want. For experience, or just for the proper situation, like Flowey's good for Absorb because it's the water type that we're facing off against. So it's pretty sweet. The only thing that's a concern is that we're really these battles are going to go on for a while if their levels are pretty much the same as ours. So that's the only thing I'm really worried about. But other than that, we should be good, right? I think so. I mean, we haven't really had too many issues in battle yet where we we're actually in danger of dying or losing all of our Pokemon, so I think we're doing pretty good here. I don't know about you guys. But let's get rid of this Poliwhirl here. And Flower's gonna gain some experience, and then Betro. And Betro's now level 22! And there we go. And finally! Betro is evolving! Oh, you don't know how excited I am for this. Now Betro won't be as useless. Thank goodness, your Patro evolves into Golbat. Fantastic. That is so nice. Oh, man, now our beloved Zubat will do even more damage now because he's finally evolved. Now we just have to get him to that good old Crobat, but he'll get there when he gets there. I won't, I won't rush him too much. Hopefully soon, though. Soon, the sooner the better, for sure. So let's continue on and find some more trainers. Why are you here? Are you just going to Gawk? I suggest that you leave. But what if I don't want to leave? Maybe I want to continue finding some trainers and leveling up my Pokemon. And I mean, you're a bird keeper with five Pokemon. Oh, you know what? What level are these Pidgeys? Level 17? Oh, do I dare? Oh, this is... Oh, this is going to end well. We're going to go for it. I think this will benefit... Oh, no, that's not good at all. I just want to see if this does a decent amount to kill these things. They don't. 
Oh, we get the freeze! Yes, don't defrost! Yes! Yes! Nikki, you're going for the damage! You did it! Oh, man, congratulations! I'm so proud of you for winning your first battle! Oh! Wow, what a victory! And you're trying to learn Powder Snow, which is a weaker Ice-type move than Ice Punch. And you know what? I'm not even going to teach it, because I think we have pretty good moves as it is. So, we're not going to do that. And you have some more Pokémon. And you know what? Just because these Pokémon aren't really worth the experience, I'm going to show off Patro in his new evolved form. So, let's see what Patro can do now that he is a Golbat. Oh, look at that beautiful sprite. Just looking at it makes me feel better about myself than that Zubat sprite. And we still can't get the one-hit knockouts, but you know what? Patro is going to do just fine. I mean, hes I'm sure he's not too far off from being a Crobat. We just have to give him some battles and then level him up and everything will be a okay And what a critical hit, too. Nice. Right, what other Pokemon do you have? You have another Pidgey. Okay. Not so bad. And since he has evolved into Golbat, he's going to be a lot faster as well. Except with these stupid quick attacks, that's not going to be the case. But hey, we should do just fine here. I really wish I could outspeed these stupid things. But the quick attacks! It's dumb. Now let's go for the bite here and knock out this Pidgey, and then move on to his probably next Pidgey, to be honest. If I had to guess, he's probably going to have another Pidgey. Yep. Who the heck called that one, guys? I sure didn't. But here we go, another Pidgey. Let's go for the Swift. See if... This is not even going to knock it out, is it? Oh, it does! And with a critical hit, that mattered. I'm pretty sure that mattered, because I'm guaranteeing that that would really wouldn't have knocked it out, so... Alright. I apologize, though. We're getting into really heavy battles here, and I know the episodes have been getting kind of long with just battles, but Pokemon are, is about battling. I mean, that's what you do in these games. You battle trainers, you gain levels, you fight gym leaders, you get badges, and you move on. That's just how the game is. It's crazy, right? <laughs> so, I mean, that's just what the game is, right? But anyways, you really are concerned. I am really concerned about what? The fact that I won, or what have you? I have no idea what this even means, but... Oh, those are holes. You don't want to fall into them. They're not good. Hello there, sir. I travel the world to train my Pokémon. I wish to battle with you. Now, are you a gentleman? Because if you are, you probably have a Growlithe. Yeah, you're a gentleman. Do you have a Growlithe? Oh, who called it? Who called it? I fig I figured you'd had a Growlithe. And you know what? Oh, wait. Now we have two Pokémon weak to bite. That's not okay at all. I'm going for it. Because we have Surf, and I don't think I've shown off what Surf does yet. Surf is a really powerful Water-type move that does quite a bit, so we'll see how that does. And he's going for the Leer, that's okay, because we have Surf! Now, we haven't used Bro in a while because he's pretty... He's the high, one of the highest level members of our team, but Surf is just a really powerful Water-type move that does quite a bit of damage. And Nikki's going to gain some experience, as well as Bro, which is cool, and then your next Pokémon is another Growlithe. So as I mentioned before, we're going to switch back into Nikki, and then switch out again, and then we will continue fighting the rest of these Growlithe. That seems pretty cool to me, doesn't it? I think so. Alright, let's get the heck back out of here and go for the bro. Go for bro, not go for broke. And then see what we can do. Do these Growlithe have bite? I think they do. And the quick claw works in our favor. Oh, bro, it's going to be so long before you evolve and become useful. But once you do, I swear, you will be so helpful. But you're already being extremely helpful right now, so. And level 25. Good stuff, bro. That's what I'm talking about. And we defeat Preston. Oh, I must train some more. Yeah, you probably should. That would probably better fit, benefit you as well. Hello there, ma'am. Jasmine is the city's gym leader. I mean to bring her back with me. Nobody had better get in my way. Okay. I have no idea what you mean by that or why you even say that, but that's okay. And you have one Pokemon, which is a Meryl. That's not so bad. Level 21, that's a pretty high level, though. And Nikki's almost close to level 14. Alright, Flowey, you're coming out here to, because, you know, you're good with the water types and all that good stuff, so let's send you out and see what we can do. And Tail Whip is not okay. Tail Whip is definitely not okay. But that's okay, I'm pretty sure you don't have any physical moves that deal a lot of damage. So... <laughs> you probably have Bubble or something stupid like that, so I don't even know why you've been bothering using Tail Whip. I really wish you had a better Grass-type move, though. 
I mean, Absorb is doing its job. It's doing plenty of damage to knock... Oh god, you have a physical move. Okay, that didn't really do anything. If that happens more than once, though, we could be in a world of problems, so... And we knock it out, so it's fine by me. Get out of here, please! And Nikki's still not level 14. Wowee. Ah, my Pokemon! Yeah, your Pokemon. Now, let's go over here and see what is this way. This is just a, uh, a hole to take us back. We have you! Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. Hmm, sounds like a pretty nice lady, for sure. Alright, sailor person, what do you got for Pokemon? You got yourself a Krabby. Okay. That's pretty nice, I guess. I mean, not really that threatening to me in any way. You know what? I'm not gonna play any games here. Bro. Oh, Red Bull, sorry. You're not bro. Red Bull will come out here and just go for the good old headbutt or something and just deal tons of damage. I think at this point, Torals may be our most strongest member of our team. Because look at this. One hit knockout. I think the critical hit mattered though, but still. I think Bro's gonna. Er, wow! Why do I keep calling you Bro? You're not Bro. I mean, you are a Bro. You are the Bro. But, I mean, seriously. I think Tauros is our most powerful team member because he's just all around so good. He just does a ton of damage. Don't worry, Nikki. One day. One day, I promise you'll get to fight for a longer period of time than just switching back and forth. That's why these battles are taking a while, because I really just want to give you the experience. I mean, later on we will have a way to uh, give uh, the Pokemon that don't fight some experience, even when they're not in the battle. One day we will be able to do that, but until then, we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Alright, get out of here, please! And that's that. Good job, Red Bull. I can't imagine a smile either. Yeah... She must be worried sick about whatever's going on in her life, so... Let's go up this way, into a ladder. Okay. Yes, man, how big is this place? I don't remember it being this big. But... Here we have another trainer! We're pretty high up here. My bird Pokémon are in prime form. Okay, so you have bird Pokémon. I really want Nikki to fight these things. I mean... They do a ton of damage. Huh, <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> I just think that's a funny name. But we have a Spearow here. Level 18. Yeah, if I send out Nikki, she's gonna get wrecked. Oh, what's someone to do about that? There's really nothing I can do, so... Betro, you're gonna have to come in here and do some damage. I guarantee that Peck would have knocked it out, so... Oh... I wish one day. But the day will come, I'm sure. The day will come when I when Betro also gets a one-hit knockout, too. That would be perfect. That would just be excellent, but of course, today is not the day for that. So let's go for the bite here and knock this thing out, because that's what we do. And not get the level ups, which is what I really want. And now you have a Fero. Well, that is pretty dangerous. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for Nikki and switch into Red Bull, because Red Bull, as I mentioned before, is a really powerful member of our team right now. And even though Betro has evolved, he's not doing as much damage as I would like him to do at this point. So we're going to go and switch into Red Bull and see what he can do with this thing. And I'm pretty sure he'll do something, I'm sure. Now, these Fury Attacks! Oh, please don't hit five times. Okay, you hit three times. That's not so bad. I could be... It could be worse. I love how you outspeed the Fero too. That's excellent. Oh my goodness, stop with the freaking Fury Attacks! Alright, at least you're hitting three times and nothing more than that. Let's go for the Horn Attack. And this should knock out the Fero in no problem. And Nikki's level 15! There we go! And what is your next Pokémon? You have... a Spearow. Alright, Red Bull, you're gonna stay in here and do some fighting. Because I'm pretty sure it'll knock this thing out in no problems at all. Let's go for the Headbutt, and let's see if I am the truth. If it is the truth. And it is! Yeah, I'm not surprised. Good job, Red Bull! And there we go! Oops, they crashed. Yes, sir, they did. Now, what is around here? Ah, I wonder if there's something else on the other side. There must be an item over here, right? Or something? Yes, there is. Good thing I checked. We have TM34. Uh, I wonder what that is. That must be something good, right? TM34. Swagger. It raises the uh, attack sharply of the opponent, but makes them confused. 
The only thing that's good about Swagger is that they can hit themselves for bigger damage with that move since they're confused and uh, hitting yourself is big. Ooh, a rare candy! Ooh, that's nice. That is so nice. So, looks like this is the top, so we're gonna have to work our way down. Now, where is that one floor? That Yeah, it's this way. This is where we have to go. And we have a trainer here, of course. Sailors are both kind of strong. How about you? Eh, I think I'm pretty strong. I mean, I think my Pokemon are pretty good as well, so... You have one Pokemon, and you have a Poliwhirl. Alrighty then. Level 20, not too bad. Nikki. Man, Nikki, I really want you to battle, but... As is, as is life. And you know what? I'm gonna go for Flowey. Because my other Pokemon seem to be a little weak on the HPs, so I think you'll do just fine here. Especially when this thing is using Double Slap. I mean, that's not too threatening. Alright, let's go for the Absorb once again. And you're faster than me. Huh. Didn't think that was the case, but sure enough. Let's, all right, let's go for the Absorb here and do some super effective damage. What do you say? I say that's pretty damn pretty good damage right there. And uh, another water gun. Wow, I it, you know how hard it is to commentate in so many battles like this? It's really difficult. There's really not much to say after like the 10 minute mark, to be honest. So I'm just gonna talk about how I'm doing today. I'm doing pretty good. I went to work today as usual, and you know that's just the way of life. And I really didn't do much else besides that. I just kind of came home and relaxed for the rest of the day. Because I work like really long shifts, like 9 hour shifts. And it gets really exhausting. So, and there we go. Tyrell is gone. You are both kind and strong. Thank you very much. And we have an item here. It has an ether. That's a really good item actually. So I'm glad we picked that up. And let's go up here. And this way. And we have another trainer as well. I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it now. So how about you? Alright, I guess I'm up to it. I mean, we've had plenty of battles in this episode, so why the heck not? You have three Pokemon. And one of them's a Machop. Now, I really, really want Smoochum to battle. Or at least have a Psychic-type move. But you don't. So this isn't, this isn't really going to do anything. But you know what I can do? I can switch into Patrol because he quadruple resists Machop's uh, fighting-type moves. Like, this should do pretty much nothing as I expected. However, I can't use Bite on this thing because, well, it's not going to really do anything because it's also resistant to fighting type or to dark type moves. So I'm just going to go for the Swift and do some damage here, which will be really nice. And nice, we knocked it out. Good job on us. Now, what is your next Pokemon? You have a Poliwhirl. Well, that is something I can gain some experience on, so let's go and switch into that. Or and switch into Nikki and then switch into. I'm going to switch into Red Bull again. Because I know I should be giving my other team members screen time. But honestly, Cinder is weak to water type moves. And Bro is a water type himself. So he won't really do much. But Red Bull, he doesn't resist anything. And he's really powerful. So it only makes sense to use him. So let's go for the headbutt here and see if we can get the flinch. Or at least knock this thing out. No. But we did get the flinch. Oh boy. Let's go for the horn attack. And knock that thing out of the sky. And Nick is level 16. There we go. And almost level 23 yourself. And we have another Machop. And you know what? Red Bull, you're going to get to level 23. Because that is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's go for the headbutt. Like I said, we have three normal type moves. So it's just a matter of picking which one I want to use in this situation. And there we go. Red Bull's level 23. Good stuff. I love how his defense is higher than his attack stat. Whoa, whoa, you're overwhelming. Yes, I am. And you know what? We do have a rare candy, so what I want to do, and this could be dumb, but I'm going to use it to level up uh, Smoochum to level 17, just to give him that extra level up, because why not? I mean, he's almost close to making it to the rest of the team here. And we get ourselves a Super Repel, which repels Pokemon away for an even longer amount of steps. And up here is a person. This Pokemon always keep, kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasped me for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Yeah, well, as you can see there, the Pokemon that normally lights up the lighthouse is sick, so what we need to do is go across the Cyanwood City to pick up some potion, some secret medicine or something, to revive, or not revive the Pokemon, to make the Pokemon feel better, 
And in turn, it will allow us to make the Pokemon feel better, and maybe Jasmine will want to challenge the, with the gym again. That would be pretty sweet. So, as you can see, there was a lot of battles here in that area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Well, first of all, who are you? The Sailor is an online cave that was really generous. He taught my Pokemon strength. Now it can move... Yeah, okay, that's important. So... We fought a lot of trainers, we gained a lot of levels with Nikki and Red Bull. I know we've those two have been the main users of the battles in the last two episodes when we got them. But in time, in time, Nikki will be able to fight on its own, and then all of our team members will be able to be viable in any battle that they that I want them to be in. But we are here in Route 40, and I think that next time on Pokemon Crystal, what do you have to say? Hmm, there's a big building up ahead. What is it? The next uh, next time, we're going to be going into this building here and seeing what's inside, and maybe checking out the water, since we have Surf. I don't think we've even used Surf yet. So next time, I think we'll be checking that out as well, and seeing what lies in the waters. So we're going to be testing the waters, as they say. That seems like a plan to me. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Crystal. See you guys then.